guys. I was right, or at least most likely right, about Freddy Fazbear being the only reason why the animatronics can't move in FNAF 1. Because I found a video where a guy mentions in the book, the interactive book, that they made recently, you could look this up, I'm not lying to you, that in the video he mentions that Freddy likes to bite their heads off or twist their head off. Making me think most likely, because look at the evidence that Freddy most likely caused it. Because we know there's a re has to be a reason why they can't move. Freddy has a handprint, and the bookie is known for twi for biting people's heads off. And also, there's a theory I have to make about Bonnie and all that, and also, yeah. And I don't know. Also, I'm making one about Monty, so that's coming eventually. It's just my phone's kind of being weird. And I need to find the images because, nah. And also, record videos to continue that video. Uh, it's weird. Basically, yeah. And Help Wanted, we see a hat and a watch inside Freddy. And what do we also see happen in the FNAF movie? He bites someone in half. In the movie. And also there's a complex thing of why can actual withered foxy see through the mask? Because that this image brought it up in my brain right now. But... Yeah, that means most likely I was right about Freddy being the sole reason why they can't move anymore. So thanks a lot, Freddy. You screwed your friends. But I do actually have to make a FNAF theory. I will look into Happy Frog. Foxy, I need to look into on why he exists in the first place. So I need to look into Foxy, Bonnie, and Happy Frogs. I know Happy Frog is weird to look into, but there is going to be a reason why. But yeah. Also, we kind of get the crying child's name now is Dave that also means most likely in the books because in the books one of his fake names is Dave and I'm gonna rant a little bit about that does that because that's weird also that th their names are connected like that It's one in the books that means he, it's, yeah, weird, also supporting Crying Child was named Dave, because that name pops up in the books, and that was probably a hint to his child being named Dave. Meaning, one of the names that he thought of in the book for his identity was also a name that in the games he names his child. That's kind of interesting to think about. Um, I don't know, I just want to throw that out there that there's, excuse me, there was a theory that, excuse me again, that the crying child is named Dave. And in the books, William Afton is named Dave. Well, his fake name is Dave. And also, I want to point out the movie, too, because I need to do a theory on why 
Freddy probably has gloves in why he has gloves in the sign, but not in the actual movie, as you can see here. Because I don't know. Also, more of the runtime, more. Because, see, why does he have gloves? It's kind of weird. He has gloves. Meaning, this is also supporting uh, MatPat's theory. Because, uh, you know MatPat's timeline where he said, the reason why Freddy was made because of a bear that he saw? If this was inspired back, like, probably when Mickey Mouse was made. That makes more sense why he has gloves. That means Freddy is, like, really old. Like, back to when, you know, Mickey Mouse was alive. Well, not alive, but when he was created. Or Oswald. And also, I gotta do an Indigo Park theory, I know. I don't know what to make it about. Besides, like, one very simple thing that doesn't need to be stretched into an entire video. That's kind of the complicated part, is how am I going to turn that into an entire video? Because I could literally say it right now, and it's kind of over. Because literally there's evidence in the game, if you play the game for it, for evidence of what the theory is. It's not even that hard of a theory. It's just an idea. It's not even really a theory. It's just an idea for it. But, yeah, take that. But I am going to make a theory about Happy Frog and Foxy and Bonnie. Because Bonnie is important for some reason. Because in the book, he's pointing out different for some reason. Because even someone's made, made a theory, I think, about it. Because he pointed out the book, and I'm imagining. I haven't watched the entire video, but I'm imagining that they're using the entire Freddy. That they're actually looking for William. That's what I'm assuming. Because in that they are allowed to leave. And also, Shadow Freddy, I'm making a, I'm going to make a theory about him. And yes, it is going to contradict my Dave, the crying child, Dave. When I say Dave now, I'm referring to crying child is Shadow Bonnie theory. It's kind of going to contradict a part of it. But it's also going to support some people's theories about how he's in Golden Freddy. It's going to support that, but not entirely contradict Shadow Bonnie is the crying child. It's not going to entirely contradict that. It's going to contradict the he's a part of Shadow Freddy part. That's the part it's going to contradict. Because I had an idea looking back at the old mini games. And I'm going to make it. I'm going to make that theory. So I actually do have a lot of FNAF theories spearing up. And also if you want a theory on something else, I'm sorry. I don't have any other idea. Also the FNAF movie kind of supports it too. Kind of supports other theory. Also, for some reason, there's a lot of broken with this poster. Like, for some reason, Freddy's hand has been stabbed through. Or you can't even see, like, Freddy's eyes kind of bulge out for some reason. Like, it's weird. The poster's really weird. People point out how Bonnie levitates. 
Also, a theory that is very easy to debunk in the FNAF community is Bonnie fought William Afton. It's very easy. There's no evidence <laughs> at all for like how they died. I just added it because that's what I heard one time and I kind of thought it was true. I'm sorry, my friend, my people, I hate that song theories are just so stupid and have no actual, e really, evidence. Like, glitch trip, like, one thing I gotta point out, stop making theories that literally don't make sense, though. Well, like, okay, it's fine if it doesn't make 100% sense, it's fine. I mean, theories that are just... There's nothing there. At all. And it's just kind of like bonkers. Like, oh, Glitch Trap is William Afton's brother. Or William Afton's been controlled. Like, what? Like, I heard, literally one time I heard Glitch Trap is William's brother. And I was like, what? What? I'm sorry, should I do a theory review at one point? Also, not gonna lie. How are the lights not blinding Vanny, though? But, yeah. That's the end of the video, I guess. So, see you guys next time. Bye.